my friend Kate at work says I should do a vlog. And since it's tradition in the IT world to show unboxings of new gadgets, I figured the unboxing of my huge pile of new German furniture is a great time to try this vlog thing. I must say, when I picked this up from the post office this morning, I was just a little bit concerned because it makes rattling noises. Always worried that this means that it's not being packed properly and I'm going to find a kit set doll's house furniture stash inside here. So there is packing. I'm slightly more hopeful. Lots and lots and lots of plastic and boxes. This is looking useful. Oh man, look at this one. Apart from the fact it's a bit upside down. That's just brilliant. I have a wall. This is kind of interesting. And a button. Hmm. Very excited about the button. Never mind. Um, that wall's kind of interesting because when I finally paid for the auction, I was told that it was too difficult and expensive to send the doll's house over. I'm kind of hoping I didn't just get one random wall. Although it's still kind of cute. So here's hoping that the rest of a doll's house is in here somewhere. Three little parcels and one very cute wall and door. Gorgeous packaging. Lots of tape. I'm just hoping that they didn't just throw everything in the small boxes and then yeah, bubble wrap the boxes. So I'll have beautifully organised boxes filled with broken bits. Let's see. We have no bubble wrap. So, no bubble wrap. Let's hope she's packed them so tightly that nothing's broken. Not holding my breath on this one. So first out of the box, we have a rug. No idea what, where it's from. Doesn't have any markings. A couple of curtain samples. To add to my curtain sample collection, no doubt. A couple of bits of carpet. Looks like carpet samples. Don't think I'll be using those. And here we go. Possibly the thing I was most worried about. This is the Medela record player set. I'm really excited about. Don't know if you can see, but there's a really tiny turntable and a tiny arm in there. Doesn't look like it opens. Nah, no, doesn't look like opening. So, I'm happy with that. That's excellent. Okay, I'm also happy with this. This is another thing I particularly had my eye on. Looks like we just need to rearrange the doors a bit. Looks like we're missing a handle, but that could actually be somewhere in the box. Whoops. Obviously the doors are very easy to reorganise. No maker's marks, but very cute.
beautiful double bed sliding doors no makers marks very cute chair that obviously had something on it at some stage but no longer has a table that's had a bit of a whoopsie which makes me think this could be the bit of the table that had the whoopsie okay into the mending pile with you a very cute fluffy puff Dirty. Sort that out later. Television. I actually think I've already got one of these. But that looks like it's in one piece. Excellent. Next up. Fireplace. No markings. But okay. day looks suspiciously Barbie sized then again I've never seen a real B day so I wouldn't know what a real B day size is but I kind of guess it's toilet sized guessing that's not it two chests of drawers interestingly enough I thought they were the same but now I get them out I find they're not the same size. They feel a lot like the table that I got out earlier. And I wonder if they're homemade. Yeah, this is interesting. I was about to say I always check drawers and furniture I buy. That one's broken, but no one's going to notice. And that's got a treasure in it. Oh, I love treasures and drawers. Just like finding treasures in boxes at off shops. No, empty and empty. So apart from that broken drawer side, that one's okay. Next up, plastic chair. All fine. Quite large again. But you know, I have to remember this is one tenth scale. And then there's this. Hello! Guessing that doesn't belong to it. First I thought there was something missing. That it might be okay like this. I suspect there might be a drawer missing. Oh, hello. I think that's the drawer. That's really cute. It's a bit of dusting. It'll be fine. Next we have some rather large boxes, which are definitely doll sized, not doll's house sized. A jug. Cracked. Don't know if you can see it there. Cup and saucer set. Plate. I'm guessing that this might possibly have something to do with this. Or I could be wrong. And finally, we're left with a box full of bits. Although, I do have my suspicions. Oh, clock. Not a box full of bits at all. It's a bit of a silly clock. Never mind. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm guessing that if we take these... And put them together, we may have ourselves another table. Beautiful patina. 
goes really well with that one. So into the mending pile with you. Which leaves us with one random leg. Of course I haven't checked all of my pieces of furniture to make sure they've got all their legs. And a small red um, mm, something. So this endeth box one. And while we're here, let's meet Mr. Nibs. Mr. Nibs, you gonna say hello? Yes, good, fantastic. Okay, bye. Box two. bubble wrapped goodies. Should we start? So we start box number two and first up is a rather large but quite gorgeous stickered that'll have to go covered. Had some sticks on the front I'm not sure if they're original I'm guessing not definitely need to remove him. It looks like he's been there long enough that he's going to take a bit of convincing to let go. More curtain samples. And speaking of curtains, some beautiful vintage curtains on a rod. Which would be really handy if I have the rest of the house. A giant sized presser. No maker's mark. Comes with a free piece of knitting. How fantastic. No treasures inside. But look at these curtains, aren't they just amazingly gorgeous? They're just fabulous. No treasure. Probably going to be a little bit overscale for my use, so I might have to find it a new home. Here's the rest of the bathroom. No maker's mark yet again. Toilet. Basin. Very, very gorgeous. I actually think I have that tray already, and I may actually have these but in a um, cream colour. It's interesting. I'm missing the mirror. Shower unit. Once again, stickered. That one looks like it's going to come off. Much more easily, obviously. Fantastic. Towel rail. More knitting. Oh, hang on, no, that's crochet. Not actually sure what this is, but it's beautifully crocheted with edging done in red. Wonder if it's supposed to cover a toaster or something. We'll put it on the toilet for now. Another box. Oversized. Aha, the mirror for the bathroom. Yep, hello again. More box. And then we get to the bottom. Oh, no, hang on. This. This is cute. Suspecting this is Modelo as well. Definitely goes with 
some of the other pieces I have. I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. I do wonder hmm, if that's removable. Yeah, it looks like it is, but it looks like it is glued into this one. A lot of the other ones I have just come out. Finally, we get to the bottom of the box. A random light bulb, kind of useful. Ah, another plate, cup and saucer from the set from the last box. A dead table with its legs. So it's another one for the mending pile. Um, yes, a random uh, piece of something. And a poor unfortunate chair that seems to have lost a leg. Although I do recall seeing a piece of wood come out of something at some stage and wondering what it was. And I think it may be on the floor. Huzzah! One chair. One very sad pot plant. And a bit dusty. And a, um, yes, I'm sure it's a very important thingy, so we'll just leave that in the box for now. Thus endeth box two. And so we start with box three. What I wonder is, is the rest of the house going to be in here? God, I love the lid. The lid is beautiful. Tim should make some fabric out of this. We'll get back to that idea. The answer is no, I got one random wall for a house that I actually paid for, but apparently it was too difficult to ship because it was too expensive to pack it, even though they told me how much the shipping was going to be. Shall we start? So, having vaguely got over the disappointment of not getting the house, although I had said that I was happy not to get the house, although grumpy that they uh, decided to tell me after I'd paid for it that they couldn't afford to send it to me, let's start on the final box. First up, very old, very gorgeous German table, obviously had some sort of maker's mark on it. Hmm. That I think I can use, rather than not. Thinking this is from the same era, beautiful chaise longue, and I'm also thinking that if I go over here and find that random lump of wood that I was puzzling over, it'll turn out, oh yes, to live on there. So that, into the mending pile. We have a family. Appear to be doing some sort of crazy dance. feel a bit bad that I've now made them homeless. Looks like she feels a bit bad that she's now been made homeless. But I'm sure I'll find them a new home. Whether or not it's with me or with someone else, I don't know. Oh yeah, that is some dance. I think that's all the family. Big family. Another cupboard. And the only treasure appears to be its missing legs. But that's a good thing. At least they're with it. Another sticker. Used to be a maker's mark, obviously. And interestingly on the top, used to be something. Maybe a mirror, maybe some extra shelves. Might just have to take those off. This looks like it comes from the same set. I could be wrong. That one doesn't seem to have its legs included. Bit of a bugger. But luckily it seems to have its original glass. In this day and age you'd think it crazy to actually use real glass in children's furniture. But in those days obviously things were very different. Very, very lovely backing on that. That needs to go into the get it fixed corner. Guessing this went with 
that comes from box one. No idea what that would have been on the top. It's fairly firmly attached. I did notice that I was missing a door from the original cupboard, so I may actually end up using that on the cupboard and doing something interesting with this. Another wooden cupboard. This one seems to be missing a door. It has gorgeous handles on it though. I don't know if you can see those. They're just brilliant. <laughs> Door slide, nothing inside. Kind of wondering if I can actually remove that top one and just use that as a shelving unit. That's brilliant. I like that. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Another cupboard unit. I would say from the same design. Got to love that. Beautiful drawer. Similar sort of handles. Don't know if you can see. Yep, there we go. How great are they? Pity there's one missing, but it may be in the bottom of the box. This looks like it might be a bit stuck. I'm not going to force it now. But there's something inside something. Oops. Wondering if the drawers are actually supposed to open. Looks like no. There's definitely a rattling sound in there somewhere. There is treasure to be had. I'll get to you if it kills me. Ha. Oh man, look at those legs. Look at that table. Why did I not notice that in the listing? It needs to be a bit fixed up. And it obviously had something on the top at some stage. You see that? Yeah. That. Hoy. It's like that sort of bonus item that you didn't know existed. Leg needs to be fixed into that corner. Fabulous corduroy sofa. It's a bit of a dust. Gorgeous 1970s style. Matching chairs. Huzzah! Huzzah! And, hey hey, more knitting. Isn't that just gorgeous? Back to some beautiful vintage fabric. And, speaking of cushions, another one. Crocheted, beautiful velvet back. Do I have any more cushions? It appears I have no more cushions. Okay. These are interesting. That one's obviously missing its bottom. Oh, and that one's obviously missing its bottom. Interesting that they've both got this on the seats. Wonder what was supposed to go there. Hmm. Need to get some legs sorted for that unless I find them in the bottom of the box. This one definitely has legs. This one's very cute. This one I suspect may be a bit oversized, but it kind of makes me think of a Muppet. Um, cheers. We have this one. Oops, quite lovely. Interesting that we've got the same sort of bottoms in these as they had in some of the other pieces I've been looking at. So they've obviously either just the way that they get done in Germany or they could have come from the same set and I'll look into that later now ha huh, this looks suspiciously like another seat the same as the one that was in box number one a bit broken always use chairs no doubt I could pull it apart and do something with it this one's also been through the wars doesn't match and looks like it's a one cloth scale. Here's another white one, like the one that we got out of the last box. And here's another one. That's it for chairs. Tables. This one's quite cute. Yeah, cute. Gorgeous. Cute. Put together. Hey. 
I can make up words. Fantastic. Just lovely. I'll get a lot of use out of that. Here's another one that I just noticed in the listing I was intrigued about. Mainly because of that top. So there are eight of something that used to be on this top. Very sticky. Wood? No, that's plastic. I'm not going to clean those off until I've worked out what they were supposed to have been. Or maybe I'll just give up and clean them up off anyway. Something else that used to have something attached to it. Very similar to some other pieces that I have already in the collection. Used to obviously have a drawer knob on the top. May actually find it in here somewhere. We're getting to the bottom. A tally with a seal. I actually think I've got another one of these somewhere with a different picture on it. Oh, look at this. Hang on. Can you see that? Oh, yes. Hours of entertainment on a Friday night. Other people go to the pub. Oh, I play with German vintage doll's house furniture. Mm. Um, this is a thingy. A beautifully made thingy. Guessing a footstool. Fabric is the same as the chair that we saw earlier. So I'll pop it over with, with that. Yay! A leg. We we're missing a leg on something. That is fantastic. Telling bone. That is a very, very, very cute telephone. And maybe, well, it does look rather like it should live there. So that's excellent. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very flimsy vintage picture. With what looks like hanging on the back. Wonderful plant, just wonderful. And once again, we find ourselves at the bottom of the box. Oddly enough, there's a lot of money here. I'm sure it's not real. A leg, legs are always useful. A bulb, can't recall seeing any lamps. That would be the lid to the jug that was in box number one. Random pieces of useful looking bits of wood, which based on the fact that one side has got colour in it, may actually be, oops, a book. A random piece of paper. A button. I'm guessing that's a, yes, that's a plastic. Is it a five pinning piece? No idea. Very cute. This is obviously the box that some of the furniture came in. I'm going to be able to hazard a guess at which stuff. More buttons, uh, interesting blue plastic thing, more money, more random bits of plastic, but it would seem a less, oh, there's more green stuff, like, that's still really weird. And that's the end of the stash. I'm still very confused as to why I've just got one wall of a house. You know, you'd think that they just wouldn't bother sending any of it. So obviously now there's a house in Germany missing a wall. Who knows? Anyway, that's the end. I'm very pleased to notice that only the things that are broken looked like they were broken before they were packed. So I'll take that back about bubble wrap. And tomorrow I've got to find homes for all of these and do some mending. Thanks for joining me.